Welcome to another edition of Astro Altcoin Showdown, where we use methods you have never seen before to sort through small altcoins. In other words, when you see small altcoins on Morales, how do you know which one to research? How do you know which one to deep dive into? Well, we're going to give you something that you'll never see anywhere else. We're going to take a shuffled deck of cards, tarot cards, we're going to drop them on each symbol, and then we're going to have a professional read each coin and each card for that coin. And of course, our resident expert is Toby. Hi, Toby. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you for having me. All right. So Toby is just going to get started right now. We're going to take the shuffle deck. We've got the coins here. We've got, uh, we have Pepe, Wojak, Kermit, Truth GPT and XEN or Zen. Okay, Toby, pull one card per symbol and take it away. Okay. Here we go. Oh, Kermit's got the Queen of Wands there. Kermit, the Nine of Wands, and the Three of Cups. Okay, so... Um, Let's start with the Three of Cups, because that's such a fun card. Okay. So Pepe has got the Three of Cups. Go ahead. So um, the Three of Cups is all about celebrating um, a milestone. And um, it, it's also about social groups and, and friendships and bringing people together. So that would be the energy that this um, coin is representing. All right, so Pepe seems to get marks for its community. Again, this is not investment advice. We are here for entertainment and fun. Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands. Okay. And so this, uh, the Knight of Wands is a bit impetuous. It's a, a fiery energy um, coming in, changing things up, um, and not really stable, so it might not be a good energy, but but there's going to be a lot of movement and then a lot of things going on, maybe not so stable over the long term, because the night is a is a new energy coming in. Okay. All right. Now let's go to the hierophant. Well, this is interesting. Okay. Um, this is a major arcana, so the energy around this one is really strong, um, but it's very structured. The hierophant represents big institutions and. Um, contracts and I, I don't know whether or not this could be positive or negative. I don't know anything really about any of these coins. You just put them out here for me. And um, so I can't say if that's good or bad, the Hierophant, because obviously you know, Bitcoin is not a legacy. This would seem to have something to do with uh, big government, okay. big business, those kind of things. Now right. we'll go to Kermit. All right. So we have Kermit. We and have the Queen of Wands for Kermit. So another, we've got a couple of wand cards coming up here, which all has to do with fiery energy and excitement. Um, because she's the queen, you will find this to be a little bit more of a mature energy, um, but still not very structured. And the the, the Queen of Wands, the, the energy around that card is typically get things done. So she's really good at organizing groups of people and getting things done and, and making things move. It, a little more social than, say, the Knight of Wands that is, is more of a solo entrepreneur. Okay. All right. So Kermit has an edge in community. All right. And then Wojak next. Uh, so this is not being able to make up your mind. This card uh, can represent some disillusionment, um, not being very satisfied and having too many choices. So if we were talking about the community or the kind of people that were around this, um, it's a bit experimental. Uh, they don't quite know what they're all about yet. They may be trying a little bit to be everything to everybody instead of um if you just want to talk about community i think um this one and the queen of wands probably have the the strongest and, and this one's already celebrating um this one is uh, around structuring 
Okay, so we we pulled out Truth GPT. Okay, that's you know that was the meme coin. Toby didn't know this before the show. That was the meme coin, just simply created off what Musk said yesterday. So interestingly, she disqualified that kind of you know just knowing that off the hand. And Wojak as a meme coin did did not make the cut. Now interestingly, XEN right, which was not a meme coin. Okay, seems to be portrayed as maybe something that was inside the system rather as something that's outside the system like other cryptos. Did I get that right? Well, it, it seems that way. It's very structured and a little bit more around um, old forms. Uh, the, the Hierophant, of course, represents like the Pope. So this is a very structured, organized thing. It, he deals a lot with contracts, legal things, all of those things that are very rigid and structured and, and education. Okay, so that's very interesting because as we could as we might tell or as we could tell before the show, uh, XEN was actually not a meme coin. So not not a meme coin, but not as revolutionary as you might think. Okay, so it came down sort of to two meme coins that were structured around community. Right now, of these two, you know, if we're going to go by community or anything else. So with Pepe and Kermit as the finalists, is there a sort of like a final word that stands out if you look at these two just compared to each other? Well, it's interesting since we're talking about community and um, then. OK, so I'm going to I'm going to do kind of like the same thing I did with the last showdown in that if I was to say anything. And, and of course, the one thing about timing and in tarot cards is, is we're not talking about a long distance of time. We're talking about this moment in time and how it's likely to play over and play out within three to six months. So that's usually the time frame I feel comfortable talking about. Um, so I would say this very similar thing, um, whereas this one may have a little more longevity. This one may be a lot of excitement right in the beginning. This is a very exciting card. Three ladies partying. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay. Thing right now. Yeah. And this one, she's the queen. She's going to be structured, maybe a little more slow moving, um, even though this is a fire card, which is about, you know, catching fire. <laughs> All right. So check this out. So, you know, one coin, and we've had this in, in prior showdowns, like one coin might be good for the trading move. Again, not investment advice. So Pepe may get a lot of excitement initially, but it may not be sustainable. Whereas, you know, Kermit, as far as meme coins go, may have some staying power or maybe it doesn't have that hu a humongous spike and either sits or moves later. So that's how the technical analyst would interpret what Toby was saying. Right. We want to thank Toby for coming in. And that's another rendition of Astrophysical Altcoin Showdown. We'll see you next time.